Welcome, yes, everyone. Um, why do we chant Hare Krishna? Uh, this question was asked of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <laughs> when he was in Varanasi. Like this? I'm afraid of microphones. <laughs> when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Varanasi, in Benares, he was going out in Sankirtan, chanting and dancing with just a few devotees. Chandrasekhar, Tapanishra. But the thing about Benares was it was a stronghold of Mayavadis. There was one big, big uh, sannyasi guru, Prakashananda Saraswati. It is said in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that he had 10,000 sannyas disciples. It seems inconceivable to us now. But during the time of Mahaprabhu, this fellow, Prakashananda, but he was Mayavad. And um, him and his followers, when they observed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanting and dancing, they criticized him. They said, they wanted, what is this? This is not the business of a sannyasi. He should be studying Vedanta. So, a meeting was arranged between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and these Mayavadis. And they asked him personally, why are, you doing, why are you doing this? So Mahaprabhu humbly replied, well, my spiritual master, at the time of initiation, he told me, you cannot study Vedanta. He said, actually, he called me a fool. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> He's done Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you're a fool. Prabhupada says that uh, one should always remain a fool before his spiritual master. Don't think you know better than him. So Mahaprabhu says, well, he told me I cannot study Vedanta. Vedanta is, of course, very condensed Vedic wisdom. Uh, he said, what you, what you should do is chant Hare Krishna. He told him, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu repeated the words of his spiritual master. He said, uh, Krishna mantra, hoite habe, sangsara mochan, and Krishna nama, hoite habe, Krishna racharan. Means, just by chanting this mantra, you will be able to overcome samsara. You will be liberated. The world of birth and death is known in one word, samsara. Every morning we sing the prayers to the spiritual master, samsara dava nalalila loka. So, you can become free from this repetition of birth and death just by chanting this mantra. And more than that, Krishna Nama Hoite Pogesang Krishna Racharan. By chanting these names of Krishna, you will, you will see the lotus feet of Krishna. And Prabhupada comments on this in one lecture. He said, This means you will go back to home, back to Godhead, just by chanting these names. Because to see Krishna's lotus feet, you know, where is Krishna? Well, he's everywhere, but 
So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, so I follow my spiritual master and I chant. And I find when I chant, I become overwhelmed. I become almost mad, <laughs> in ecstasy. And I wondered what kind of mantra has my spiritual master given me. <laughs> so this mantra is the Maha Mantra. It is the greatest mantra. And therefore we should chant with firm conviction and faith. Prabhupada had firm faith in this Maha Mantra. He came to America penniless, no money. There was no temple, there was no devotees. He had some books, he brought some books that he had translated. And he began this movement, now we all gathered here. The Prabhupada began this movement just by sitting in a park in New York and chanting. And one by one, the devotees started coming out of the woodworks. <laughs> Brahmananda came, Kirtananda came, Achyutananda came. And from there, it expanded, went all over the world. He went to Europe, Germany, France, Italy everywhere. In a short space of time, Prabhupada spread the chanting of Hare Krishna all over the world. This was uh, inconceivable to people in India. Even most, you know, even spiritually minded people pious people. They, they didn't think this was possible. But Prabhupada had firm faith in the words of his spiritual master, just as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had firm faith. So we must have firm faith also and go on chanting. So this weekend, tomorrow and Sunday, is an opportunity to strengthen our faith. As Maharaj says, he recommends at least eight hours. <laughs> you can you can break it up <laughs> two four hour sessions. But the kirtan will be going on and you have you've come from some distance. So Make it worth your while, take advantage and lend yourself. As Prabhupada would say, chant and be happy. Okay? Haribo. Should we start, Lord Shalanda, Babu? <laughs> Who will be the first one? Agni Dev. Good. Yes, we will join you.